in the breakfast buzz this morning, you know, nothing is more therapeutic in a tough economy than mocking the rich. And uh, we were looking at these really over-the-top fantasy gifts that come out every year and wondering, are they any different this year? So who better to tackle this? Becky Worley, everybody. Well, I went into this assignment with an open mind. You know, find a, the gifts for the obscenely wealthy men, women, children, and pets right. in America. <laughs> but what I found is that as ridiculous as they still are, they're a lot harder to find. It was three weeks before Christmas, 2005. We played with posh gifts. You $65,000, my All friends. Right. I'll take two. Before the market took a dive. Those glamorous gifts are no longer everyday fare, but those pricey gift catalogs still make us stop and stare. It, it symbolizes um, great gifts and a lot of fantasy, and it's just fun to go through and say, oh, I'd love to have this, I'd love to have that. Yes, we need this type of escapism. Imagine the glamour of his and hers sports aircraft, the echo chicness of a $12,000 chandelier made of plastic soda bottle, the whimsy of a cupcake car? Yeah, I researched like Robin Leach, and this was the most outrageous gift I could find. But if a seven mile an hour pastry isn't the right fit for that special billionaire on your list, well, how about this? A 55 inch waterproof flat screen for the pool. Ugh, I hate it when people splash my pool plasma. Or buy the same cell phone that Madonna and David Beckham own. It's just 88 grand. I'm sure the reception's terrible, though. You got your $8,000 Swiss chalet pet estate <laughs> or your pirate treehouse, $17,000. What? And of course, all your crazy shoes and purses that cost as much as my car. But in the end, it's a sad and desolate landscape for those dozen or so filthy rich people looking for stocking stuffers. The landscape for opulence, it ain't what it used to be. Now, I should mention that only the aircraft, the chandelier, and the cupcakes are from Neiman Marcus if you're running out to purchase these, Bill. But I've brought you something else. I like this. This is the man bed from Hollandia International. It has, oh, you know, the his and her right. the whole Reclining thing. 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 And it has a TV that you can bring up and watch in bed. Nice. It has the iPod dock, surround sound speakers, and, you know, Subwoofer. Subwoofer and the built-in massager. Well, it's no personal submarine, Becky, but I guess it'll have to do. $35,000. Happy holidays. <laughs>